Partners, and especially those in relationships, are known for encountering ups and downs, as every relationship has some. But what happens when these downs go way too far? Is this your stuff? Yeah. Do you have an ID in here? Um, no, it's in the car. What are you Scream, help me, bloody murder, basically. I opened the door and, and the opened door the door, closed. and then she got back in, closed the door, and you hear tons of stuff screaming. We banged pretty why hard. Are you shaking, so why are you so, so why are you so why are you shaking? You kind of just came out of nowhere. And okay, well, you we came out of nowhere. You heard us knocking on that door the whole time. Here are some cases when this happened, starting with case one: Morgan Lund's arrest. On February 18, 2023, 22-year-old Morgan Lund was found crying after stabbing her boyfriend over a dozen times with a pair of scissors while he slept. The incident occurred in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and prompted a disturbing 911 call reporting a woman stabbing her boyfriend. Upon arrival, police officers discovered Morgan standing over her boyfriend as he bled out. They're coming. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I can't yep, medics are coming upstairs. <laughs> Is this your stuff? Yeah. Do you have an ID in here? Um, no, it's in the car. What are you telling yeah. me? Yeah. He's in the whole car. Please help me. Please help me. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, what is your name? Morgan. Oh, you want to Thanks, stop to. That should be Ethan. While Officer Bennett conversed with Morgan regarding the events, another officer engaged in a discussion with Morgan's brother, Ethan, to gather additional information about the incident. This gentleman holding the baby? Talk yeah. to him, correct, okay. What's going on, man? Okay, is that your sister? Yes. Okay, so what happened? I'm just sleeping. You were sleeping, okay. I was here screaming. I thought they were just fighting like normal. And it starts getting loud, loud. What the hell? Was he screaming back at her? <sighs> it was kind of like a. I don't even know. I can't get off me. Help! I, I just got my. And that was remember. him saying that. I don't even remember. Okay. And open the door. They're on top of each other. What do you mean? On, so they both were on top of each other. He was like on top of her, trying to take the knife out of her or something. I don't know. Okay. So, he, okay, how was she positioned? When you say when he was on top of her, was he like straddling her? Yeah, he like had a wrist down. And then holding a wrist, like straddling her like that. In the midst of the chaos, Morgan displayed erratic behavior, refusing to provide her identification and requesting to call her father. She described seeing a mysterious figure before the attack and mentioned experiencing hallucinations and confusion. Morgan's brother, who was present during the incident, described hearing noises and seeing the couple engaged in a physical struggle. Postpartum, that's what he said. So, but he, she made a comment that she was like in a dream and didn't have control. But he's like, I something along those lines is what he said because he was on the phone with 911. So, but he didn't see, you did not see the actual no. cause of the injuries. No. Okay. And where does baby sleep? I mean, I can, yep, I can probably figure it out, but yeah. okay. I thought that she sleeps other places, so she might have slept in the room or something. Okay. Know. All right. Stay in here. Is he okay? No, no, no. Morgan, can you tell me a little bit more about... No! No? <laughs> and why is that? You feel no! Why, why are you saying no? I don't understand what you're reacting to right now. 
Are you just scared about the situation, or do you not want to talk to me? I understand that, but you're you're an adult, so I need you to make your own decision about whether or not you're going to talk to me. What? What do I need to tell you? <clears throat> the questions that I was asking. What kind? Of oh, I was I was sleeping, and then it was, I don't know. I was like half awake. I bring her out here every morning. Uh huh. And I mean, I've seen the same thing before. I've You've never seen done the anything same thing? like that. You have seen the same thing before. Okay. Have you ever had any kind of medical treatment no. for anything like that? Uh -huh. Have you seen a doctor, a psychologist, counselor, no, I didn't, anything I didn't like that? I didn't to talk to anybody. Okay. And what is what is his? Have you ever No. And Ethan's your brother. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -mm. Oh my God. And were you asleep immediately? I'm going out here again. Okay. Six a.m. I got her out at six. And then you went back to bed. Is that right? Yeah, I went back to bed. I didn't. I didn't get much sleep last night. I don't know why. Okay. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep. And you? And you what? I finally fell asleep, and I was seeing all these weird things. But you don't remember coming back out, but you do remember seeing something. Yeah, it, was like, it was like in my head, though, and it, it wasn't real. And that's what I was like, what is going on? I didn't know what was happening. Can you describe for me what you saw? I was like, I don't know, it was like something. And then he was like, yeah. I felt like, like, I don't know what, but it was like, then I was like, is he attacking the thing that I saw? I don't know, I was all confused, like I was, I thought I saw something that wasn't happening. Right. I don't know. I'm going to ask you to do a favor for me, okay? Can you come over in front of this white wall so that my friend here can take some pictures of you? Mm -hmm. During questioning, Morgan expressed concern about her future and exhibited signs of mental distress, citing her work at a mental health institute as a possible influence on her mental state. She also mentioned experiencing postpartum depression since giving birth to her child.
Can you hear me all right? Okay. Just try to keep breathing normally. Take deep breaths. Four three. I've got Morgan on board and we will be en route to 420. My beginning mileage will be 1.9, 1.9. 1.9. Go ahead and slide it out if you can, and I'll, I'll take these off right away, okay? <coughs> I told your mom and dad I'll keep up, keep up with them. Take right? one step forward, all right? I know your mom. Detective Artis. Cool. Detective, this is Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Uh, I'm just going to ask you to stand, I guess, kind of right over here. I'm going to acknowledge that this process is super uncomfortable and it may feel at times that you're being treated like you're like a piece of evidence or something, but the reality is. <clears throat> No one here is judging you or thinks you're a bad person. It's just the nature of things that we have to collect all the information that we can. So. Thank you. We are going to have to take the sweatshirt though because it had blood on it and it was on you at the time. So that's what my partner went back to the apartment to grab is another sweatshirt for you and, and those socks, okay? It, he put it on the table. Okay. Already set up. You, uh, do we have a female working at all for now? Uh, I don't know. Rachel leaves at noon, but she's here, I'm pretty sure. Um, we do. I would like uh, her to come in and take some photos. Okay, so. Sample of three, though. Three forty. Are you available? The detective is looking for a female officer to take a couple photos. Again, I'm at the uh, house right now talking with someone. I'll, I'll call you. Morgan was arrested and charged with attempted first-degree murder. Despite her claims of hallucinations and mental health issues, she was sentenced to seven years and six months in prison, along with additional probation and extended supervision. Hold on to witness this crazy arrest where case two, Zara Percy's arrest. Remember, your grandfather was a police officer for 35 years. Authority is your elders. Remember, please. On November 10th, 2023, Zara Percy was involved in a chaotic love triangle feud that led to her arrest. The person that this... Yeah. You want to get try to get the um, the passenger's ID too? The front and back? Could try. I'll walk up there with you.
in the picture. I wonder if she just dyed her hair. Well, there you go. He says, grab her. Do you have anything, do you have any weapons on you or no. anything like that? No. What am I being arrested for? Can I be read my rights? Yeah, we'll talk again. Just wait two seconds. Mom, okay. call Grandpa. I want to know what's going on. Quiet. He didn't even tell me that. Okay. I'm confused. 15 Bravo 11 Center. Okay. Um, Basically, there was a going to in a apartment complex, yeah. and you were identified as the owner who was shooting. I never shot him. Okay. Well, that's beyond me. They've done a full investigation. They've been investigating it every day. And they have video of the Okay? So that, that you want your phone to just make it sure. Give it to your mom? Yeah. The incident began with a traffic stop conducted by Voluca County Sheriff's deputies who were unaware that Zara, the suspect they were searching for, was in the vehicle. Zara's arrest stemmed from allegations that she had shot at her secret boyfriend's girlfriend while the victim's one-year-old child was in the car. During the traffic stop, Zara displayed defiant behavior, refusing to comply with officers' requests and demanding her rights. Yes. Um, uh, she will have a bond. Whether it's twenty five hundred dollars. I have a question. Do you know the shooting where the shooting was? Uh, they they do. Um, the exact and on the report. Was it outside by a apartment? I mean, I wasn't I wasn't there, so. Because if so, that would be it. <laughs> it. I mean, it was in South Daytona, so. I don't know the exact details. She's telling me to call her. She's just the registered owner of the vehicle, so. Yeah, she's my daughter. I'm her mom. He has my ID. Or no, he didn't take my ID. He didn't, he didn't take my ID. Yes, ma'am, I'm not issuing any citations or anything. Can I get out and get it? If you want, yeah. She's going to step out to come grab the jewelry. Okay. Just sit by the front of the car, yeah, if you would. Yes. Okay, okay, listen. I don't know what's going on. There's one more. I love you. Your baby loves you. He will be fine. Okay. I'm go I am. Okay. 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 I told her to stay with you. Despite her mother's attempts to encourage compliance, Zara continued to resist arrest and displayed a lack of remorse for her actions. They're doing their job. I love you. Okay, guys. I can go. Yeah, if you have any questions. All right. Do you, 
What what address do you live at? To anybody recently about this incident? Uh, not. I didn't know she was involved. But yep. the other night there was there was a shooting over by our area, and that's why I said was it around my house because uh -huh. they didn't know who did it. I just want to make sure the firearm is supposed to be in the trunk of the vehicle. Oh, I would be pissed if well, so. Well, that's I hate why guns. we want to... Yeah. yeah. And if I would have known y'all weren't looking for me, I would have called. Like, there's no problem with that. Like, I didn't even know. So, and the girl, she didn't tell me, like... So, I'll get a standby company pull over for the driver. Boulevard and Airport Road. I mean, I think it's a black Dodge Ram. Some sort of tag, something to pick their car. Uh, do you know his number? Hold up, let me. We just don't want mom to get in trouble. Oh, There's a bullet to close it, and you can give me the thickness. Well, I don't want to be around. Can you can you grab her phone? So him? Oh, did he, he saw it? We both. He drove right uh, past us. Then we he, 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 he keyed up on tag. I'm, try, I'm trying to think how it how it got past me because it hit. Do a U turn or it came out? It hit the Ridgewood, and I was right there. You saw me. Yeah, he drove yeah, right past me. That's weird. I wonder if it picked it up could, if she came off Bellwood. Like, if she's turning left, will that pick that up? Or, I mean, turning right, I mean? I think so. Off Bellwood? Yeah, I think so. Because I'm like... And, and, I, and, and literally, the car that, that just drove past me pulled into 1888. Really? So... So I literally got right behind the the last car that I saw. You know what I'm saying? She was booked into the county jail on a felony charge of shooting into a vehicle, but was later released on bond. If you thought that was brutal, well, you haven't seen this case where case three, Kyla Arse, death. On 17 September 2023, the police uncovered events leading up to the murder of 33-year-old Kyla Arse in Pompano Beach, Florida. Authorities responded to the home shared by Arce and her boyfriend, 32-year-old Paul Henry Digiacinto, after neighbors reported hearing disturbing screams. When deputies arrived, they knocked on the door and attempted to make contact with the couple. However, despite their efforts, Arce and Digiacinto did not initially respond. Before all this, Broward County Sheriff's deputies were called to the townhouse Arce and DG Asinto shared in nearby Pompano Beach. And the woman screamed, help me, bloody murder, basically. I opened the door and, and the opened door the door closed. and then she got back in, closed the door, and you hear tons of stuff screaming. And Knocking around. Sounds like there's a struggle going on there's inside, a basically. Big struggle going on. Over there? Yes. Yeah. Sir. And I would totally, like, I want to make sure she's okay. Broward County Sheriff's deputies responded to the townhouse on September 17th after multiple neighbors reported disturbing screams coming from the couple's home. Uh, you got a 
a picture of the roommate's car. And so him. The, guy the roommate came, came out, out, out of the there. building. I took a picture of his car. Oh, you left? driving out. Yeah, no, I took a picture of his license plate. He drove away. Yeah, the so roommate came back. out of the building and said that the guy is not abusive and that's his best friend and he's known him forever. And when I asked him, well, why would a female scream at the top the of her lungs, help me, out. he just goes, yeah, I don't know. And then he walks away and leaves. So the roommate's inside there too? There, there was there was two guys. The roommate left. He got in the... This gentleman right here got a picture of his car. I got three people talking to me. Sorry. First responders on the scene make their way to the couple's door and begin knocking. Brown County Sheriff's Office. Multiple sheriff's deputies on the scene. These same moments are caught on body camera recordings from different angles. Brown County Sheriff's Office. Brown County Sheriff's Office. Do you hear it still in your apartment or not? You're at the door, so open it up. Every day. Every day here. I can hear you at the door. Open the door, it's the Sheriff's Office. All right, due to exigent circumstances, we're 10 for Due to exigent circumstances, if we have to go ahead and break the door down or get someone with the key to open the door, we will. We just need to find out if everybody's okay. As the knocking continues, a neighbor can be heard telling sheriff's deputies he's scared of the man inside. That guy, he scares the shit. Do you hear it still in your apartment or not? You're at the door, so every, open it up. Every day. After approximately 10 minutes of knocking, deputies decided to break down the door due to the exigent circumstances and concerns for Arce's safety. Eventually, both Arce and Digiacinto emerged from the garage, despite claiming they hadn't heard the deputies knocking. Garage. Dispatch, make note that they, uh, they basically was inside the house. Once they saw us breach, they came out the uh, garage door. Immediately, deputies call them out, saying there's no way they didn't hear their 10 minutes worth of knocking. There's no way in the world you didn't hear us knocking at that door. Throw the keys down. 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 You got any guns, knives, weapons, anything on you need we, we need to know about? Oh, Nothing at all? At all. Okay. Why didn't you guys come to the door? Why didn't you come to the door? We banged. Why are you shaking so? Why are you so, so why are you so why are you shaking? You guys just came out of nowhere. I okay, well, you we came out of nowhere. You heard us knocking on that door the whole time. We literally are going to You didn't to hear us place. knocking. We're banging no. the hell out of the door. Why didn't you guys come to the door? We're we down the door? stairs. We banged pretty why are you hard. Shaking, so why are you so, so why are you so why are you shaking? Okay, oh. you came out of nowhere. You heard us knocking on that door the whole time. We literally are going to You didn't to hear us knocking. This. We're banging no. the hell out of the door. Okay, My so hands are red. Banging yeah, out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't hear us. We're downstairs. Anybody else inside? I'm sorry. No, no, nobody no else is inside. inside. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. What's your first name? Uh, Kyla. Spell it for me. K Y L A A R C E. Whoa, whoa, whoa. K Y L A. A R C E. A R C E. Yes. How do you spell it? Say it. Kyla Arce. Kyla Arce. K Y L A R C E. I'm so sorry, you guys had to come out here. And well, so if you guys hard. would open the door, you this would. This is brand new. No, I'm good. Thank you. What's your? Uh, What's your date of birth, Kyla? Zero five two one nine zero. What's your last name? A R C E. A R C E. So it's Kyla A R C E. Yeah. What's like, your middle name? Um, in my in my driver's like Saint Paul Saint Paul. Do you have a middle name? Well, it's Kyle Alexander, St. Paul, Go Arce. Are you guys married? No. Okay. Do you live here with them? Yes. What's going on here? Why are we getting calls from your neighbors that they're hearing glass break and they're hearing stuff being thrown around? What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing's I mean, going on. I, we were watching All, a show. Listen to me. Listen to me. I got information from neighbors all night long. 
help me, help me, you're hurting me, stuff breaking, stop doing okay. this shit. What's going on? But like, what do you know? Come on, take if a walk I, with me. I don't want to walk with you. Come with me. Can I just sit down? No, come okay. with me. What? From here, the sheriff's deputies separate the pair. Let's talk. Away from your, your friend then. Uh, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. Okay. I'm just asking about what's going on. Why are your neighbors saying all this? Why are your neighbors saying all this about you? During the interaction with deputies, Arcee and Digia Chinto provided conflicting stories about what had occurred. Arcee repeatedly apologized and insisted that everything was fine, while Digia Chinto appeared visibly shaken and scratched, prompting suspicion from law enforcement. What's you tell, on? you tell it exactly. How we have, you, how do you have on? nothing was going on, dude? You're coming out of the garage, you're shaking like crazy. You got scratches all over. I get I'm it. I'm shaking because all of a sudden someone just blocked So you live here with someone else? That's just, that's by myself. You live here by yourself or she, who is she to you? She's my girlfriend. Okay, so who was the other dude that was here? A friend? Okay. So what happened? Nothing. We were just hanging out. We watched TV and that's it. But everybody was yelling and screaming. You got neighbors over here. And people don't, don't, people don't even live here screaming. saying that she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Something was going on. Look, I'm not trying to make a story up. I don't understand. And I don't, wanna, I don't wanna make you feel uncomfortable more than what you are in the situation. But the thing is, bro, we're trying to find out. This is more of a life or death situation. I understand. It's called exigent I don't circumstances on what's going on out of nowhere. So that's what I'm confused yeah. about. So why when we were knocking on the door, I'm you just, just so didn't come confused. to the door? We're downstairs. I'm in the shower. She's watching the show, and then we're downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, check it out. This is the garage. I know the format of these because mm -hmm. I've been in one. That's your downstairs right here. Your upstairs is up there. Just hear me out because you live here, right? You pay rent here. I mean, you pay your mortgage here every month, right? So the thing is, I know the difference. This is downstairs. You weren't downstairs. No, we were knocking is, on this there's door. There's a bedroom down here on the bottom. Floor. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay. But I'm pretty sure you heard us banging on this door. I didn't hear anything. Okay. Look, I, I, what you, look, I, I can't, I I can't make you tell all, us what's I going on. all the time. I hear things going all the time, so I don't know. Yeah. What is what? When you live right next to each other, you hear things all the time. So well, your neighbors and everybody heard you screaming. No, no, heard her screaming. Like something was wrong. And then she's not answering, so therefore that gives us even more of a suspicious incident where we got to go and find out who, who's alive and who's dead or, or see if anybody's okay. That's where we're coming from. Okay, I mean, yeah, but everyone's fine. I mean, I get it. Uh, okay. So do me a favor. You said it's a bedroom right here. Open this up for me. Ultimately, 36 days after this incident, Digiacinto allegedly shot and killed Arce at his parents' home in Coral Springs, Florida. He also attempted to kill his father before being taken into custody by law enforcement. Digiacinto now faces charges of murder, attempted murder, and resisting arrest with violence. Well, we've already opened the door. I'm just asking you to open it up because so we don't have to go back up. Because I can go back up and go back in. I'm already, I've already have, look, 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 I have a, I have a lawful right to be in that home to make sure there is a bit nothing's going. Okay, so open the door, let us check, and then we're good. What is it? What is the reason? I don't understand. She's here. I'll go check. She's here. The garage That's it. Uh, yeah, he's saying it's a bedroom down there. That's okay. I'll make sure you don't have to. You don't have to cooperate. We're, we're good. I just asked him to open the thing because uh, it's so the door is already open and we have lawful right to be here. So just open the thing. Tyler, they think someone else is in the house. That's what they're trying to say to me. We want to make sure everyone's okay. The house. Yeah, like, there's no one else in here. Okay, we'll open it up. Okay, we'll open it up then. For what? Okay, well I'll just go. I'll just go upstairs and go down. Okay. I just asked him that. That's all I said. Okay. Everything is being recorded here. Throughout this all, the couple continues to tell conflicting stories as Arce repeatedly apologizes. You said nobody else is here. He just said his friend was here and his friend just left. Now tell me the truth. Yeah, but I'm downstairs. Listen to what I just said. Yeah. He just told myself and this deputy that nobody else is here. He said his friend was here and his friend left. Is so now you're know? saying that. She so now you got know. conflicting stories. She may not know because she doesn't go upstairs to see. But how do you not know when you've been in the house the whole time? There's three, like, like it's too, it's too much. I barely hear anybody downstairs. I work on my computer and nothing's going on. I don't know. It was.